Hi, this is Ted Free from Microcore Labs. I'd like to introduce you to the MCL 6809, which is a Motorola 6809E drop-in emulator uh, that uses a Teensy 4.1. You can see it here connected to my Tandy Color Computer 2. Um, it uh, supports all of the opcodes and undocumented opcodes like Halt and Catch Fire, HCF. Um, it's also cycle exact based on the data sheet um, and it supports some accelerated modes. One of those is eliminating VMA cycles, which are dummy cycles between most opcodes. And you can kind of see it here, those Fs, how frequent they are. So those are the dummy cycles that the 6809 performs. Uh, those can be easily eliminated. <clears throat> it also supports accelerating by mirroring the RAM and the ROM from the motherboard and the Teensy, and then running it with or without clock, um, paying attention to the motherboard clock. So you can run at the motherboard speed or run accelerated up to, you know, 600 megahertz uh, or faster uh, running in the Teensy 4.1. Uh, the Teensy also has a megabyte of memory, so you can mirror the motherboard RAM and ROM. And so one of the uses is to uh, put images of ROMs, like cartridge ROMs, into the Teensy's memory. So that's what I've done. Right now I have four Tandy color computer cartridges uh, stored in the memory and I can select it uh, with the, the Teensy uh, you know, UART. So let's start with the diagnostic ROM. <clears throat> so this is the Tandy diagnostic uh, cartridge. And this is running at cycle <laughs> exact or accurate. Uh, it's got the dummy VMA cycles. As you can see, all those Fs. So I'll start with the sound test. video test <clears throat> all right so let's see one I'm going to run the sound test and then in the middle of it uh, accelerate and take away the VMA cycles the video test. So I'd say it's probably 100% faster. And then you can see on the analyzer here, there's no FFs. So it's just no air bubbles. There's no, it's all back-to-back -back opcodes. <clears throat> um, let's see, the next test would be run uh, mirroring the um, mirroring the motherboard uh, RAM and running it uh, not cycle accurate. So right, right through cycle accurate because you have to be able to update the sound and the video, but reads are going to be um, running out of the Teensy's internal RAM at max speed. So let's see, one, two, <clears throat> all right, three. So let's run like a sound first. That's just VMA cycles removed. All right, so listen to that. It's so fast, I can't even, doesn't sound proper. <clears throat> Here's the video test. So it's ridiculously fast. I don't know what that corruption's coming from. That may be, I'm just writing too fast for the video display chip to update, but uh, it's not crashing. So the, you know, the, the Coco's happy, aside from the video. Um, okay, <clears throat> so that's it for that. So let's load um, Dragonfire, application Dragonfire cartridge. So let's see, press, what is it, 7, 7, enter, and then I hit reset, and it'll boot into that cartridge. I don't have a joystick, so I can't get any further than this. This is just to demonstrate that this title works. All right, so let's see. The next one would be uh, Stellar Lifeline. It's cartridge eight, so hit eight, and then reset. All 
So I'll let this run just a smidge more. It doesn't respond well to acceleration this game. So maybe they're using the clock and, you know, in a proper way. Let me just to show I can accelerate. I'll take away the VMA cycles. It doesn't seem any faster. Um, so, but anyway, this game does run. <clears throat> and then the final one is Canyon Climber. So that's nine. Okay. So this game does respond to acceleration. So let me, I don't know if you can tell. First, I'm going to take away the VMA cycles. So I don't know if that's faster or not. And then this is mirroring reads and running at 600 megahertz and writes go through. So you can see that's super fast. All right, that's about it. Um, the code is available on uh, GitHub. And uh, that's about it. Thank you very much.